Name a job you can do without your hands. You can't, right? It's kind of hard to work when you feel lightning-like pain shooting down your arm and into your fingers, not to mention numbness and weakness, aka cervical radiculopathy. For most of us, giving up is just not an option. We have to work, and the sooner we get back, the better. Fortunately, there is a path to relief of neck pain and cervical radiculopathy, but it does require surgery. It's called anterior cervical discectomy and fusion, or ACDF for short. Surgery on my spine, that's scary and risky, right? Well, not for me. By the end of this video, you'll understand why I feel that way. Cervical radiculopathy, or a pinched nerve root, is caused by a herniated disc or bone spur in your neck. Believe it or not, there's an anatomical path from the surface of your neck all the way down to the discs that can be accessed by spreading alone without having to cut a single muscle fiber. If you need to stop the neck pain and your arm pain and get back to the office next week, well, this is good news for you. In the ACDF procedure, a spine surgeon follows that anatomical path to the neck where they can replace the herniated disc, causing your arm pain with a bone graft. The graft is held in position by a titanium plate that's about as thick as a penny and secured by four tiny screws. That means you can be back in the office working next week. Full recovery for those who work heavy, like construction work, is 12 weeks. ACDF is one of the most common spine surgeries in America. You probably know someone with a scar on the front of their neck who had one. It's done by orthopedic spine or neurosurgeons, but it's not brain surgery. Honestly, in my case, and this was decades ago, it was the very first surgery I knew how to do myself. The most common side effects are hoarseness and difficulty swallowing, and both of those typically resolve within two to three weeks. Importantly, the ACDF procedure is covered by Medicare as well as private insurance. But you have to find the right surgeon. For best practice, I'm Dr. Dan Lieberman. If you have a question you would like answered on Best Practice Live, click the link to our website and complete the submission form. The more information you can give us, the better we can answer your question. So please contact us and we can walk you through uploading your imaging to a secure server. Please like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with information about your spine and joint health. Lastly, be sure to check out new episodes at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, where we answer all your questions.